Now it is my pleasure to uh, introduce you to the three youth leaders who spent two weeks at our vocation training center in Aurangabad earlier this year. They will share with you their experience. So here is Avanti Parekh. Avanti, please come up. Vinayake Amin, senior at uh, Barrington. And uh, Vikas Reddy, senior at Palatine. So they all spent two weeks in Aurangabad in, um, uh, in Maharashtra. And they'll tell you about your experiences. But by the way, before we do that, can the parents please stand up? Because we thank you. Our, Mr. Come on, stand up, stand up, guys. Uh, Ketu is there, and I'm sorry. Where is Mr. and Mrs. Reddy? Thank you very much for entrusting your kids to us in uh, India, in Aurangabad. Vinita Salvi, you know, did a terrific job taking care of them and taking them through the program. So thank you. And here we are with uh, Avanti, Vinayake, and Vikas. All the best. Thank you. You guys have a video or something? Or? Yeah, video. Great. I'm Avanti Parquet, and I'm 16 years old. Uh, I'm Vikas Reddy, I'm 17 years old. I'm Vinayaka Amin, and I'm 17 years old. So this past summer, my fellow youth leaders and I visited Aurangabad, Maharashtra, and we got to see all the amazing field work that Pratham is doing in this area. One place we visited was a local science center where we met kids who would bike as far as 16 kilometers to participate the, in the activities over there. We also saw local schools do projects with the kids and got to participate in a cultural exchange. Another place we got to meet amazing Pratham beneficiaries was in our hotel itself. The hotel we stayed at was a Pratham training center where students got to train in different careers in hospitality. It was really great seeing how Pratham is providing these kids with amazing resources like tablets and trained educators to ensure that they are efficiently using our donations to transform these children's lives and those people around them. So there are a lot of great experiences on this trip, but we thought the best way we could share our experience with you was through getting to meet some of the people who were profoundly impacted by Pratham and who had a profound impact on us. After working with the children for a couple of days, I got to know a young girl named Sejal. The thing that stuck with me the most about Sejal was her hard work and drive to succeed. Every day, Sejal used to go home and practice the song and dance routine we used to teach her. She was the first to memorize everything and used to help the other students. As time went on, I got to connect with Sejal over our love of singing. As a young girl, I got the opportunity to take singing lessons and develop my passion. However, Sejal did not have the same chance. She told me about her dreams to sing in front of people, but she couldn't afford lessons. She also told me about how she enjoyed school and learning. Sejal's motivation to succeed blew me away and showed me how essential it is to provide children with the opportunity to receive a good education. Through Pratham, children like Sejal can be given the education that they deserve. So on my first day in the village, I got to meet a, a boy named Chetan, who is part of the group that Avanti, Arch and our partner from Houston, and I were working with. So every day, Chetan would show up excited to work with us on time and driven to work on his English pronunciation skills and most importantly, his dance skills. Uh, he was w only one of five boys in a group of 20 girls. And in India, generally, that means the boy shies away. But no, he, uh, he was really excited to work with everyone. He was cooperating with everyone. And he made sure everybody was working together to create the best product they could. Um, and that's not a trait we saw very often in India, much less in 14-year-old boys. Seeing how Pratham educators worked with him to make him the best he could be showed me just how essential his education was in shaping him. He's an amazing example of someone who, despite the obstacle he has, has the drive and leadership abilities to go far when given the chance. I shared a similar experience to that of Avanti and Vikas during my time in the village. Every day when I'm at school, dreading being there, I try to think of the children like Jethan and Sejo who are so eager and excited to learn 
and I used them as motivation to help me get through my school day. So, similar to the children in the villages, the vocational trainees we worked with at the Bratham Pace Center in Aurangabad were also eager to learn. Every day we met with these vocational trainees for about an hour and helped them improve their English conversational skills. The trainee I worked with was named Ashbak. He is originally from Ahmadnagar and lived with his mother and his brother, but when tragedy struck his home, he was forced to become the sole provider for his family. Now, I, <laughs> I, I, I found my experience with Ashbak particularly enlightening because he's only a year older than me, yet, he was, yet we sh lived completely different lives. My biggest issue right now is college applications, but his is providing for his whole entire family. Of course, given the fact that most of us couldn't speak Marathi, the local language, and since most of the kids didn't know much English, communication was definitely a challenge. Even so, it didn't take long for one kid to put enough English words together to look at me and say my arms looked like Maggie noodles. <laughs> Needless to say, it didn't take long for us to forge strong bonds with these kids without the tool of language on our sides. Some of these memories have had such a profound impact on us that we're still continuing our involvement with Pratham today. In addition to the people we met in India during this experience, we were fortunate enough to share this experience with our fellow youth leaders from all over the country. Shout out to Archie and Anjali from Houston, Arjun from DC, and Freya from Dallas, who are with us here tonight. With these, through these, in the last 13 days we spent in Aurangabad, we were able to forge strong connections with these youth, leader, youth leaders, and I am proud to call them some of my best friends. We'd also like to give a quick thank you to Ms. Manita Salvi, who was basically our mother figure during the, during the 13 days in Aurangabad, and we really appreciate all that she did for us during our time and she helped make this trip unforgettable. Now that we are back from India, my fellow youth leaders and I have made efforts to raise funds to build a vegetable garden. On one of our last days in India, we were approached by Ritesh, the head of the local Pratham Science Center. He told us that he wanted to build a vegetable garden for his science center, but didn't have sufficient funds. Now you may be wondering, why a vegetable garden? A veggie garden will provide the village with nutrition and the kids can learn so much about organic farming and how to take care of the environment. As soon as we came back from India, we started talking and decided to start a GoFundMe page to raise $3,000 so we could build the garden. I am proud to say that since we've come back from India, we have raised the $3,000 and Ritesh will be beginning construction in the near future. This trip allowed us to meet people who your donations and Pratham's efforts are impacting. Soon enough, India will be the largest nation in the world, and, there will be, and these children are going to make or break the future of the country.